Welcome internet nerds, my name is Solo and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about The Flash. So tomorrow The Flash TV show returns and I wanted to discuss some things regarding who I think is Savitar as well as who is going to be the one to die at the end of the season. So jumping straight in, we've really been led all over the place this season with who is really Savitar. Multiple times we thought it was one character only to think it was another one shortly after, so a lot of theories have been hit or miss or just completely dismissed overall. So, I've more or less come up with a small list of who I think will end up being unmasked as Savitar, and I will say right off the bat that one of these three options is the most obvious to me personally, so the others are just kind of fun ideas to mess around with. So first off, I'm starting with one character that would to me be a lot of fun and just kind of make for a pretty good comic book slash TV twist, and that's Eddie Thawne. Uh, so hear me out, end of season one, Eddie's body gets sucked up into the portal towards Earth 2, and yes, he did die back in season one due to Reverse Flash dying right along with him, but what if someone got a hold of Eddie's body on Earth 2 and created a clone? Now it sounds impossible, it sounds crazy, but just think about it for a sec. Eddie comes back, has all the memories of the original, and wonders why he's alive. He remembers all that happened because of Team Flash and Barry, and he's not mad in the beginning, he just starts out pretty much much neutral. So what if he had been watching over everybody because he came back to Earth 2 and he sees the berries with Iris now and saw that more or less no one talks about him. Everyone just kind of forgot that he died, moved on, and it happened pretty quickly in my opinion. Uh, so because of this he decides to seek revenge, kill Iris, and just traumatize everyone, hurt the entire team. I personally wouldn't have any idea how he'd get his powers, and I know it is a completely crazy, impossible theory, but you gotta admit, it sounds nothing like a Flash kind of twist, and it'd be pretty awesome to see uh, this happen, because everyone wants Eddie to come back as a villain eventually. Uh, I don't believe this is gonna happen, though, since we did get to see Eddie come back a few episodes ago within the Speed Force, uh, and if it were Eddie, it would pretty much kind of suck to see that he's the one under the suit, because they wouldn't get to see him till the finale, and they really haven't been building towards him as the villain this season. I know that fans want him to come back, uh, I'm sure that the writers at some point want him to come back because of the way that they had handled his death because he got sucked up into the portal. They could have left him there, done a funeral, end of it. But the fact he got sucked up into the portal, to me, kind of sounds like they were either planning for a season two setup or for something in the future because he could always come back. It's comic books. Characters would come back from worse. So it'd be pretty cool, but at the same time, it is my least likely theory. Uh, it's better than the HR theory that I've seen people talk about online because why would you want HR to be the villain? We already had... Uh, Harrison Wells be the villain in season one. We don't really want to see that happen again. Uh, so it's more likely, I feel like, than that. But at the same time, that's that's a huge stretch. Talking about cloning and all that in the Flash, it's, I don't see it ever happening. But I, I can't deny the fact that that would be pretty cool. So on to the next character that could be Savitar, I'm going to take a shot at an order theory and say Wally West. So this one really seemed like it was going to be it, but it kind of lost some momentum lately ever since Wally got stuck in the Speed Force, and this is because of how quickly he got out. Uh, if he had been left in there a little bit longer, I could see him being Savitar based on quotes from Savitar himself, but since Wally got out in the next episode, it seems pretty unlikely. Uh, but let's say that it were Wally and maybe the events that trapped him in the Speed Force haven't exactly happened yet. We did see in tomorrow's episode that Wally is in a wheelchair due to what Savitar does to him in the final battle, and I had an idea. So let's say that something does happen to Wally down the road, and he ends up stuck in the Speed Force again. And at this time, he's also still paralyzed. Uh, what if this huge suit of armor that Savitar wears is actually allowing Wally to move and run? Because if the quotes from Savitar about creating himself still stay true, we could believe that Wally got his powers from himself, aka Savitar, and created the suit from his connection to the Speed Force, therefore completely creating himself both in his speed and physical appearance. But still, I really don't think it's Wally due to how big the character Wally West really is, and that dragging him through the mud is going to be hard to come back from. Uh, plus, we still don't know exactly why he would kill Iris and target all of his friends, so it's not completely dismissed, but it's still pretty much unlikely likely at this point. And onto the theory that to me is probably going to be the one that they go with, and that's Barry Allen being Savitar. So why would the creators of the Flash TV show make their main character a bad guy? Well, personally, I think that they're borrowing ideas from a storyline in the New 52 where Barry from the future comes back to kill himself in the past because of how messed up things are due to his own actions. Ultimately, future Barry does fail, but the show writers have been known to take ideas and make it their own, such as Flashpoint and so on. Uh, now, while I do believe Barry is Savitar, I really don't know why he would be doing the things that he's doing. The show hasn't given us enough to work with on why. And really, the only things tying these two characters together are the quotes that Savitar makes. Other than that, it's still too much of a shot in the dark to say for sure that Barry is Savitar, but I feel from a story perspective, it could work. Barry was told by the Reverse Flash in the beginning of the season he was the villain, and this is all playing out because of Flashpoint. So maybe Barry is his own villain this time around because of his actions. Kind of more of a symbolic meaning more than anything else. And that would be pretty different compared to all the other villains that he's had to previously face. So even though we don't have as much to work with as we do with the other two theories, it's still in a weird way it makes sense to let Barry be the villain of his own story this time around. 
All right, now that I've given my thoughts on Savitar's identity, it's time to talk about death. Who is going to be the one to die at the end of the season? I really don't think there are too many contenders for this just because of how they've handled season finale death so far. It's usually someone that is really close to Barry and is convenient for the plot of the finale or the next season. Uh, so who could bite the dust this time around that actually meets those qualifications? Honestly, I really don't think there's anyone that completely meets these qualifications this season. There are a few contenders. Uh, there's one in particular that I just kind of want to see die. But really, there are not many people that fit that description this time around. Uh, but still, we're going to try to explain it. So here we go. First on the list, I'd have to say, is possibly HR. Now, I'm really only saying this because of news coming out that there will be a new female scientist on the show next season, and I really don't care about HR. Uh, they could always kill him off and bring back Harry and go further with his character since he had such a small role this season. Uh, plus, HR can be way too much to handle sometimes, and I personally want to see a smart Wells on the show back in season four. Uh, there really hasn't been much need for HR this season other than comical relief because of it being such a dark season and all, but he's just a bit too comical and really doesn't do anything else to contribute to the team. Now this next character to me has been pretty interesting this past season and that character is Julian. So I could see him being the one that dies at the end of this season just because he's become a brand new caring member of the team and his death could also be handled in a few different ways. Uh, he could always be killed just because of his connection to Savitar and Savitar has no need for him anymore. Uh, he could also sacrifice himself for all he's done as alchemy too and honestly it would be a fitting death since technically he was a villain at the beginning of the season. Uh, also, he was a character created due to Flashpoint, and him dying is also pretty much the least impactful for the team as a whole, uh, but it's still upsetting nonetheless because he really has tried to turn himself around ever since we first met him. Uh, and something we saw in earlier episodes was HR's device that he had brought out where he could basically change his appearance. I feel like that is going to be returning, and whoever ends up using that is going to be the one that dies. Uh, they really haven't elaborated on it coming back, but to me personally, this device is only used once, and it was never brought back again. And to me, I think that they're going to use that device willingly or unwillingly, and it's going to have someone become Iris, just disguised as Iris, and they're going to be the one to die. Uh, to me, that is probably the easiest solution for it. I kind of don't want it to happen because it sounds too predictable, but then again, it is a comic book TV show, and this show in the past has known to be kind of predictable, so I'm not really expecting, you know, something completely out of the blue, but at the same time, it is a cool device to pretty much just let somebody die, and they're going to think it's Iris if they do it unwillingly, or they're going to just give themselves up and let them be sacrificed, and no matter what, it's still going to be pretty hard to watch someone die, whether it be willingly or unwillingly, against Avatar. Now, there are plenty of other ideas, theories, and things to talk about regarding these last few episodes of The Flash, but that's pretty much all I wanted to cover in today's video. I'll try to make a few more videos on this topic once we get some more information on things, so hopefully tomorrow night we do get some confirmation of some sort uh, who Savitar is, maybe a big, big, obvious hint, something. Once we get more information, I'll be, like I said, posting more videos on what's going to happen, maybe on who's going to die, etc. Um, but that's really all I got for you guys today, so I do hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and my name is Solo, and I will catch you guys later.